Hey guys, it's the Solar Cloth here, and today in this Monster Analysis video, we are going to be going over Exothermic, and I'm going to tell you guys whether or not he is worth getting out of his current Conjuring event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so if you guys didn't know, Exothermic is available in the Conjuring alongside Superfume, as well as the new ancestor, Justin Justice. So you can either get either of those two monsters or Exothermic out of the Conjuring event, and they are all three pretty decent. But we're just going to be going over Exothermic today, and I'm going to tell you guys whether or not he is worth getting. Alright. Alright, so Exothermic is a denier, and his traits are Hardened Area, Freeze Immunity, and Area Dodge, which Dodge Area is very, very good. That is definitely his best trait. One of the best traits in the game, actually. And then his relics are Mask and Banner, which are both also pretty good. So yeah, if you were going to use this monster, definitely try to get him to rank 3 for that dodge area because that is very amazing. Now let's go on down to the pros and the cons. So his pros are good life and speed, neat support and damage boost, and hydrophobic shield, which are both pretty great. Acceptable cooldowns and stamina costs, and great relics. And then his cons are only stun for denial, which is kind of a big problem for a deny. And then no PER or trait disable access, fire and a water meta, horrible trait except for, of course, the dodge area, which is very true. Both of the other traits are just kind of really bad. And then dodge area is just a status caster and there's no way to reapply it. So once it ends, you won't be able to use it anymore or the enemies can just remove it from you, which is really easy. So yeah, a lot of really easy counters against him. And he's easily denied by everything except the freeze and his only torture is ignite. So yeah, a lot of really bad cons that just make him not very usable but let's go on down to the moveset and see what that looks like so he has a team damage boost with hydrophobic shield which is a really good move he also has a aoe stun with a team double damage which is really good i like that a lot and then he has a 40 fire damage with stun and ignite and he has a mega stun and a daze so yeah he's got some pretty good moves i do like his moves but he's not a very good deny he just does too much i think he just really tries to do too much but at the same time he doesn't do enough because he only has stun for deny he does have damage boost but you're gonna have a monster with damage boost as well anyway probably just because you're going to have a support on your team along with him because that's just how teams work so yeah keep that in mind when trying to use Use him. I just don't really think he is worth using at all. There are just so many monsters that do what he does but better and so many monsters that are just better than him. So yeah, that is pretty much all you need to know about Exothermic. He's just not very great. And I honestly think that Superfume and Justin Justice, obviously, because he's amazing, but Superfume is definitely better than this monster as well. So yeah, Exothermic is probably the least good monster out of the Conjuring currently, so keep that in mind when using him. And yeah, let me know down in the comments if you guys think any differently though and i'll see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye